Well, hello, good morning. Welcome back to the channel. I believe we are on is it the fourth today. Yeah, I think it's Thursday, fourth of um, April this morning as we're out doing our checks. It's in a bit of a well, it's quite calm yard really. It's not windy. Bit of rain in the air, but it's not overly too cold either. And the lights of oh, the lights are still on. Try and get to back at trailer while they're still on here. Probably turn off as soon as I get the light. No, nope. looks like we're all good at the minute. Everything's working. We've got the container lock on and the bolt seal still, so we'll leave all that. We'll leave the container lock on until we get up here this morning. Feeling tired this morning. I'm feeling tired. I'm looking too forward to waking up a bit of a bit of my coffee. So we'll get back in the truck, get fired up, and we'll start making our way up to Newton Acliff. No, Bishop Auckland, sorry, for our eight o'clock job this morning. I'm trying to avoid this big puddle. Okay, so we are on the road. We've done what 35 minutes of driving so far. This morning we're 50 mile away from the job. Everything's going all right at the moment. We're heading up to Bishop Auckland. We've got Weir Valley Aerosols this morning, or Weir Valley Associates. Yeah, but for eight o'clock, it's got us there just before half seven at the minute. I don't think it opens before seven there's goods in. So we've got a delivery. But we're meant to have a reload with this box, but shipper wanted us to take it back down. Mm. Should have opened containers and uh, get the box swapped over for another one to go do the reload at North Allerton. Um, it's a malt place I was picking up from at North Allerton, so this looks like a decent box to me, but obviously it can be a mess inside, but. So that's what they've asked us to do, that's what they've asked us to do, so we'll have to get back down to Northern Containers with it. To try and get back up to North Allerton for as close to 12 o'clock as we possibly can. But I think that's going to be a bit of a tall ask, because we're probably not going to be out of here till 9. Traffic will have built up and walk up a bit, so that's going to be... What? Probably two hours back down to Northern Containers, so that's 11 o'clock. <laughs> Well, oh well, it is what it is, and it's all sent to tryers, I suppose. So, yeah, we're slowly getting there, slowly but surely. At least the roads are quiet at the minute. We're making good time. Should be all right all the way. To be fair, till we get off in 38 mile, and it's single track roads, but we should, should still be all right then. So, we'll get off, crack on, and get some more miles done, and get up here and go see what holds up at Bishop Auckland. Ah, that's us getting down to the job. We had about actually an hour and 33 minutes of driving so far to get here. We have certainly done all right. We're going to have to stop well back here, potentially. Just in case someone comes around the corner that needs our road to like a wagon or something. In fact, we can get up, move up. There we go. God, this truck is so loud. I said, I don't know if it's in for service or not this week. I've not actually asked yet. Um, it'd be nice if it is and we can get it sorted, but. I don't think they'd sort out anyway, I think they'd just wait for it to completely fail anyway. That band stuck out a little bit there, innit? There we go, we're through. So, we're up here on the left, through all the potholes. I bet these houses love it, all wagons coming up here. We'll avoid the sunken manhole cover that's still there, that's been there ages as that. As long as I've been coming to this site here, as it used to be further down the road, did we have Valley Aerosols at Shildon. So we've got a place here, that's goods out, but goods in is down here. 
right opposite where they started building all these houses. Oh. Which again, will be popular, up, but I can't remember. I think you've got to reverse up. I've never actually delivered here. I've always done collections. I'll let this car out. And we're just going to pull up there. I think, and we'll go walk up. So I say, I'm sure it's uh, done open till eight o'clock. Sure of it. So all I'll do is we'll jump off and I'll go walk up and see if it's eight o'clock that it opens, and then we can go quickly go get sorted in here, hopefully, and see what's what. Well, they finally opened the gate for us five past eight as we get out of our spot here. The car are right behind us as well, so we come back up. Luckily we're not reversing up, we're driving up. We can do a three point turn in the yard. Um, just to make life a bit easier, they said because of all workers, we can't get around for them, so. Oh Christ. It's a bit tight though, isn't it? So I'm guessing he wants us up there. Oh, so open. Yeah. <laughs> Sounds good. There we go. It's not that bad then. Done worse. These cameras do help a little bit with the with the blind side reversing. We can turn. We can turn the camera around. Start panning it round. So we can seat back end at trailer art time at least, but there's someone watching us as well, which is always helpful. So I can seat back end at trailer art way here. So we can we can see if we're close to out. Struggling on clutch though to bring it round slowly. And we just start tracking it back round to the button again. Just makes life easier. I do like these cameras for that really does make life easier we could probably get out of the gate at that maybe we just take it slow so we don't want to catch back of any IBCs out of there there we go we're round out the gate, so that's just turned round fairly easily actually. So if we just keep going down a little bit. There we go. We're just more or less back at a bit of an angle now. And that is as good to go and get tipped. Um, at the minute they've took the um, North Allerton to Seaforth job off of us. That's disappeared off the screen, which is um, always nice just love it when it does that uh, I don't know if they've took it off as or whether the system's just glitched and it's gone off of the screen but we'll find out in a little bit when I phone them in a minute when we get on here and see what's happening there we are we're getting in like we're back right into the building as well here Perfect, he says, that'll do us here, so I'll go get container lock off and um, we'll go get tipped here in our phone office and see what we're doing now. Okay, so in a week of never ending changing plans at the moment, we are heading to North Allerton with this box. Uh, when we in a driver, we're swapping trailers and then they're taking this one back down to northern containers for us so we've um, we're still doing that north Allerton over to see for if it turns out they just got someone to get it on wheels for us so that makes it a bit easier so we've just come up to 20 to 9 at the moment waiting for him to ping fruit job again though on my tablet and i can get the postcode and where we're going to i roughly know where it is anyway or at least i can get to get to coney garf truck stop we get off there and then we can um, get the postcode and that from there then so we're not too bad we're um, doing all right then 
so at least we're going to be on time for the North Allard and we're not rushing, rushing now. That is a big bonus. A big bonus. Yeah, it wasn't too bad in there. Lads are all right. We've done it quite. I've done it quite often that job, but we've done goods out for collecting. Used to do it all the time. Collect um, loaded aerosols to go to um, Seaforth with. Used to always get it on a Friday. It was always good for a Saturday running. But we just don't seem to do it anymore. It's the first time I've been there in a while, to be fair. But here's what it is in it. You couldn't see number play on front of that truck here, it was covered in mud. This roundabout ain't the best either for getting out of. It is a busy roundabout here. A very busy roundabout. Just gotta get ready to go and we can get half a chance to go. It's just non-stop with everything from the right. No one's coming straight over either, they're all turning off. It's all turning off. Oh, there's a car coming round, but we're gonna have to go. You've got to get half a chance to go, haven't you, sometimes. Typical, there's only two more cars coming from the right. <laughs> only two more cars coming from the right and it will clear. <laughs> Oh well, we're out, that's the main thing. We got a gap, we took it, we're out. So let's get down towards Newton Acliff. Hopefully they send through the job soon. Before the tablet goes to sleep. If they send it through now, I can just see it pop up on the screen with the address. So I can just quickly put it in my sat nav, but we'll wait to see if they do that before it goes to sleep. So let's crack on and make some progress over there. Okay, so we're a mile away from this job, just in the middle of North Allerton at the minute. It's not the best area to come through really. I thought we'd sort of come through the other side of it, but we've not. So we're coming straight from straight from middle of uh, North Allerton. So you can't get up Main Street from the left here, because there must be a weight limit on it. So it's brought us round. It's fun getting out of here when you're coming other way to try and get over this um, crossing and out of well out of the roundabout really we managed it this time here it's just horrendous man yeah getting out was fun trying to get around that left hand bend there when you got to come up that road but we're around now so we're point nine of a mile away Cyclists in the wagon coming all the other way. Don't rain, but it pours, doesn't it? Don't know, like the wagon we're going so slow, it's got traffic built up behind it as well. Hopefully, we can try and squeeze past here. I'm thinking we're gonna go, we're gonna go, we'll get past. There we go, we're around him. Stuck at a roundabout now, like, but we're round them. <laughs> that van's probably going to go. Yep. He hesitated a lot, but he went. There we go. So it's just over these railway lines somewhere. I've been on the estate before, many, many years ago. When we were doing builders, merchants stuff. But I've not been in a long while since. So, we're over these railway lines. Second exit of the roundabout coming up. Oof, Christ. Not smooth at all the railway lines ever, are they? They're always bumpy as, I, as hell. So, we're up here. Half a mile away still. We're getting there slowly, but surely we're getting there. I don't know what time lads getting here with the container that we're picking up. We should be there before him though. 
I would have thought. I wouldn't imagine he'll get there before us. I imagine he's still on his way up from Leeds somewhere. Big BT plant on the left here. Whenever there's like one car garage, there's always like three or four in there together. It's never just like one on its own. Why do they always group them together? There's like an area of um, car sales and that. So we're down here. We're down here. And it's Tet End. It's on the right. I'm sure it is. So we'll look at stopping somewhere right about here. Get somewhere about here, yeah, I'm sure it's all on right here at Malt Place. So if we stop here, somewhere like this maybe. Yeah, if I stop here, we can see if anyone's gonna try and get out of that gate to the right there. So I'll go get this trailer disconnected and wait for that lad to turn up and um, we'll swap trailers over and we'll go get loaded in here. Well, we've swapped trailers. We've got, we've got this one now, we've got an orange box on. We're on site, we've booked in to come to quarter past 11. So it's gonna be a couple of hours. Site's busy, just wait here. <laughs> oh well, it is what it is, isn't it? We, we were technically late, we were like three minutes past we pulled on site because we waited for that other lad to come with trailer. But you know, what can we do? It is what it is, isn't it? So we sat here now for a little bit and just playing the waiting game. It's all we can do. So let's see how long we wait here to get pulled in and we will go from that. Well, they've actually called us in quite quickly here. And it looks like, oh bloody hell, we ain't making that. They didn't say they were wagging here. We ain't making it round there. <laughs> Lads just called me in to come round. <laughs> yeah, he wants me over there. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's this lad's truck here you see so yeah they want us snaking around behind this building but we won't make it for that lad there so he's probably gonna have to pull further down you see even then it's gonna be tight and then it's gonna be a bit tight is this the, um Luckily these cameras are alright because we're going to have to watch for that corner but it ain't the biggest of yards is it, let's face it certainly ain't the biggest of yards like you say yeah this morning we panned the cameras around didn't we so um, we can just sort of do that again on that side to be able to see a little bit better I don't know where this lad's going to go here, you see. Is he just going to pull right into the corner or? I thought so, yeah. So if he goes right up, we take a big swing. We should be all right. Try and get the, try and get the trailer on a bit of an angle. There we are, we'll get round here now. Should be able to get more or less straight round. Try and watch the silos as well a little bit. Yeah, these cameras are fantastic for, for blind siding round. So you can just see the back of the trailer perfectly. Just see it perfectly. You know, every little bit helps, doesn't it, with technology to try and help you. If we start bringing that camera back round and taking lock off now. We have to take a shunt forward, light, like, but that's fine. It's no wrong with taking a shunt. 
Now we've done the hardest bit of um, getting around that first initial bend on the blind side, which we're going around on a good side now. Might be a bit of fiddly, but we'll get there. We don't seem to be out on the corner as, as such to um, just take it slow and steady. There's no rush. Loads of room. Seem to have loads of room. Don't know whereabouts he wants us up in this top yard, you see. Oh, I see the ramp. I see a ramp. Yeah, my other camera's not working still for some reason. That I stick, you know, stick for doing the blind sides and whatnot. I just can't get it to turn on for some reason, so might be a might be an upgrade time for cameras perhaps. Or oh, for one of the cameras anyway, which is a bit frustrating, but it is what it is, isn't it? You know they don't last forever. There we go. We'll get this round here. We should get straight back on the onto the ramp. Perfect. I'm gonna ask for better than that, really. Can't ask for better than that, so I'll go shoot off and get these doors open and that. And um, yeah, we'll go get loaded and start heading down to Seaforth. So we're loaded. We got there at the end. We're we're up to quarter two at the moment as we're making our way out of North Allerton area. We had to come out of the job and turn right because the tractor were coming down and we couldn't get past it. Didn't realise really what we were doing until it was too late. So we're just making our way out now to oh, to make our way down over to Seaforth. We asked for a five o'clock BBS for tonight. And we can get out of this junction, ain't the best. Just not the best at all. So the car after this is turning right. We're gonna go. We're gonna go. We're gonna try anyway. Can we get a gear? There we go. We're out. We're out and away. So yeah, we've got a 10 o'clock Doncaster she's planned this for the morning out of freight on a Leeds. So then I've asked for a seven o'clock BBS for oh Christ. A freight liner in the morning to get our box on. So I think we're just parking uh, Burton Wood services tonight. We start at half six, no half five, sorry. So that gives us till half eight tonight. So we, um, we'll we play it safe and uh, just park up at Burton Wood tonight. Call it call it a night there. No point running over our hours for the sake of trying to chase a bit of money. Because we know traffic's gonna be terrible. So, you know, that's what we'll do. Just wrecking a way out of North Allerton. It's not the best to uh, get out of. There's definitely a lot better places to come uh, to get in and out of, and this ain't one of them. So this roundabout, we can't go straight over because it's seven and a half ton except for loading, so we've got to go left. Which is where the really awkward pub is and the really awkward junction, but I think once we get past this, we should be alright. It's just a bit the awkward so we're going to tap both lanes a bit try and give us a bit more room cars coming out from opposite still got a car up on the outside of us took both lanes and she's still up on the outside of us because we're going to struggle like oh getting around oh, they're letting us go clip curb but we've made it let these, go, let these go. So we're turning goes right, right straight over here, but it's more or less a right. There we go. We should be a bit bigger roads now, which is a bonus. So 132 mile away. 
we had to have a brake wire in there because we were just there for that long in that area so we've got a clean card which is um, which is good so we can get straight over there straight in at five o'clock get this container off and then just get to Burtonwood and pack up so that's the plan so I'll get some miles on the go now we'll um, get closer towards Liverpool way and I'll pick you up further in the journey So we're in, I'll say more at the minute, we just board into the to loo and just grab a snack. Wagon flying through. There we go, we can get out now. So we're 67 mile away from Seaforth. Uh, they sent through the job for the morning for that Doncaster job. It's um, one I didn't recognize before actually, something called True Plant on Decoy Bank. So Decoy Bank is the area around um, Freightliner at Doncaster and that. But we don't recognise it at all. So we've got we've got right of way here. So we can keep a speed. You get right away this way going down the hill. But the other side of the road at Hartstead Moor going the up the hill, you don't get right away. So you're coming out of the lorry park, you've got to stop and then try and get going up the hill which makes it a pain, but I don't know why they've done it that way, but they have done. But we're over anyway. We're over, we can start to climb up towards, up towards sad, top of Saddleworth. And it's mostly downhill from there, then I'll flat. So it's a bit of a bonus. So we're making all right time. We've not, we've had a good run so far. Just slowing down a 40 mile an hour for the signs. And then we're good to go. Um, that box when we've tipped tomorrow is back into iPort. It's an OOCL box that we're picking up at uh, Freightliner. So I've got a feeling the truck could be in for service tomorrow, but they've not said oh, usually they say something at midweek. Oh, it's either this week or next week, I'm sure it is. It's every six weeks it goes in for service, for inspection. Like I say, it's either this week or next week, just not sure which. Um, I can't quite remember when it last went in, to be fair. So, yeah, well, it'll be what it'll be, won't it? So, we'll crack on. I'll get through this bit of traffic. There's roadworks three quarters of the way up the hill here. That's why it's slow. And, um, yeah, we'll crack on over towards Seaforth now and go get this container off. Ah, uh, we've made it. We've made it to Seaforth. Just caught to quarter past five, it currently is. Got an hour and eight minutes driving left before we are needing a break. So we should hope, we should make it to Burton Wood, I would like to think, all being well. All depends how bad the traffic is really, doesn't it? But, you know, if we have to have a break, we have to have a break, don't we? If we have the time, we've got the duty time just haven't got the drive time on our side at the minute we've come straight down here from North Allerton so it's been a been a bit of a slight it's nearly been three hour drive but oh well it's been all right though we've uh, you know, only got some new trailers in here and they for the shunters blimey we've spent some money so I can't imagine they're cheap because the weight the rated for 70 ton They've got, a, so they've got a fair few of them. They've got a big ship in the um, in the dock to get out into into bay. So they're, um, they're busy at the minute. They ain't got any big big ships in though for like MSC and that. That's ma that's majority of what docks here is MSC in this terminal, terminal two. So we're going to CL. 29 which is the old part of the new dock just the, this bit that we've just passed here on the right is what the ex is they extended it to um, this bit after they saw that this will after they got the teething problem sorted in here so as you can imagine all this is automated when it first opened up and we've got a little tag on the window here that we get given 
some lucky drivers can get get ones that they can keep but I've never been so lucky so it is a two ship simp thing I think there's two ships there's one here is there another one there there might be another one in that little lock as well but yeah there is there's two in that lot in it huh. unusual yeah so some drivers can keep the tags and then they don't have to go to the little hut but I don't mind going to the little hut it is what it is so when they first started it here it would have some trouble reading some tags and that at times if there were too many tags or something like that and it had just oh God, it'd be horrendous it should be four or five hours here remember once I were it were, I think it was an FW pad here somewhere it was I were in I were getting a getting a box on and Gary came behind me and he were getting a box out at same for same place but it was at the same pad as well and um, they tried putting his box on me my box on his and then it was it was a nightmare it took hours for him to sort out but they did get there in the end the neck it swung that box a bit there didn't it on on crane there coming down for maritime that's swaying all over the place it sort of came out then went back in again then just swung box eh, oh well oh well we're waiting for crane to come it's not started moving yet it's probably not picked up the taggers just yet They've got three in this section. They've only got two. They usually have two in sections, but they've got three. There's two behind us and one in front. It's quiet today in Seaforth. Even Terminal One, where you first come in, that that was busy yesterday. It was very, very quiet today. Very, very quiet. But oh well. Come on, Crane. You're going to start moving. not started yet but I'll show off for now when we'll get this box off and we'll go battle the traffic to get out of the area and back over towards Burtonwood to park up for the night well that's the 20 ton of malt that we loaded it's going to um, it's going to North America is that I think it's going to somewhere in um, MN, MN. I'm trying to think which state that is. I can't think what it is. Is it not Minneapolis? Is it Minnesota? MN? Might be, yeah, it might be Minnesota. MI is Michigan, I know that. Yeah, so it looks like it's going to Minnesota, that. So that's got a long journey ahead of it. On the Atlantic, it'd be a bit wetter than it is here, I'd imagine, there. But I'm glad we don't have to go book in here. We've, had some, we've just had some rain, and it looks like we're going to get some more rain coming head on as well in a minute. We literally just got to pack up, shut the curtains, and that is us until the morning. We might start at half five again in the morning. Start again at half five. We've got a seven o'clock VBS boat. We could be a good few hours tipping at this place by all accounts. It uh, could be a long one tomorrow. So that's fine by me. It's booked for 10 o'clock. As long as we're there for on time, that's all I'm bothered about. So we'll get in on the front row here and we'll get next to um, yeah I'll stay the roads just get next to this one with flats a bit steel on get next to this flatbed here this will do get next to random steel I'll do that is over there I didn't recognize reg I don't think oh I do recognize reg it's one of ours from one of ours from Leeds and it's in a bit a while to be fair so yeah so we've got that 10 o'clock Doncaster in the morning that empties into iPort at Doncaster so we've um, won't be doing won't be doing that bad then it'd be um, I don't know if it'd be an early finish or not like I say I know trucks in for service so truck could be in for service tomorrow but we won't know until office tell us so that'll be that so i'm gonna get off now i can book off at half past six so that'll be a, another 15 hour day again today i've got some hours in so far this week 
so yeah i will get off end this video and i will see you all in the next one